nerds, nerds. Destiny 2 update 7.1.5.2 activities. Solstice. Fix an issue. We're not all expected activities on the immune. We're counting towards the Solstice challenge in the hot seat. Enable sparrows in the bonfire bash activity. What the hell? They enabled what? Get your zoom zoom on. Fix an issue where players were unable to finish the quest. A guardian in shining armor. Dude, what? That's surprising. They enabled sparrows. Now, that used to be a feature a long time ago, but I had no idea they were going to add them back. All right. UI UX, fix an issue where the lifefall tooltip wasn't mentioning the current season. Fix an issue where some solstice items were missing from the collection tab. Now, gameplay and investment. Armor, fix an issue where the armor mods bolstering detonation, focusing strike, impact induction, and momentum transfer could provide more ability energy than intended. If y'all saw it, I think Cheese Forever put out a video on it. Wasn't there an issue where it was like people were getting Insta Super? right well i know his utility kickstart actually got disabled but anyways i think there was another issue here recently with these mods and and you would swap off different armor pieces and go back and forth so anyways regardless should be working now as intended but don't worry an hour from now there will be another bug that comes out with these exact same mods and so they're going to be disabled again power progression fix an issue where the warlock aspect child of the old gods would not provide the right amount of health and ability energy Wow. All right. Child of Gods is already would not provide the right amount of health and ability energy. So I'm assuming it's a buff, right? As in it was not providing what it was supposed to provide or was it over providing? Someone got any details on that? It wasn't doing anything. Ah, okay. All right. Let me just say this, guys. And I still maintain this. In 1v1 scenarios, Void Warlock to me is the best subclass in the game. This is my opinion. Child of the Old Gods is so good guardian ranks move the guardian rank requirement for the armor charge mods from guardian rank six to guardian rank seven speaking of which we've only got three more weeks i need to hit max rank even though we may not be in the best of times in destiny i cannot allow for ranks 10 and below to ever talk any shit to me so over these next three weeks we have got to finish this up and let me let me just say i have actually waited to the last moment to do this but Again, you want to get that rank up before the next season. That way you can flex the rank. You could tell, you know, the nines quiet. The 11s are talking. All right, we've got some some shaders here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I was expecting a different color there. We've got a ghost shell here for sale. Nice. Bright does this week. You have the jade rabbit ornaments. I still like the other one more, but yeah, clean. Um... A ship, a sparrow. Is this a mini sparrow? Chad, is this a mini sparrow or does it just look does it just look like this right here? No, it's not a mini sparrow. Alright, alright. Well, I like the mini sparrows. Uh oh wow, that's cute. This is <laughs> You wanna know where where all development is going? It's going here, man. It's going here, baby. This stuff. Working day and night. Let me go look at the gunsmith real quick. All right, weapons this week. We've got half Dan. Wow. Not half Dan, Lodbrook. Wow. That's actually a really good roll. Now, target lock did just get a nerf, but, you know, it adds a little bit more forgiveness there. So I think I still preferred it before, you know, I don't know if, if, if target lock is going to make that big of a difference on Lodbrook now. We'd have to test it. And we did a lot of pre, pre testing. Nezrax Whisper, listen, I know that Glaze are not in the best position right now. But if you're looking to actually get the craft from a roll of this, pick this up. Go to your uh, your pay to win season pass and choir said deep side harmonizers, and you can apply it there to Nezrax Whisper. Let's see, we've got combined action, kill clip, perfect float. Guys, what are y'all's thoughts on perfect float? Like, if you had to give it a tier, what are we thinking? Like B tier, trash men, trash C tier, D tier, D F tier. Good God Almighty! All right, well. It is a kill clip roll, all right? So you can run around two tapping with it if you want. Um, but you can also get the, what's the, what's the, what's the Solstice hand cannon? I know we just recently reviewed it. Something new hand cannon, which I actually feel like it's deceptively good. You know, when you look at it, you don't think you're, you're not expecting much from it, but it's, it's deceptively good. All right, there's that. Royal Chase, this is a 180. Not bad rolls, man. I mean, it's not terrible. Uh, Jaraka Raka. Golden Tricorn. Yeah. Battle Scar. Actually, though. Wow. Hold up now. Hold up. 
That's actually a solid roll on battle score. And you've got Arrowhead Bray. Damn. Okay. Uh, Redback. Remember, Bungie just talked about here recently that they're going to be doing some stuff to like lightweight sidearms. So that's not a good roll, though. Final web. Hmm, not good. That's all right. Got to It's a chill clip roll. You can top yourself all the demo if you want it. That's your rolls, guys. We're going to go take a look at shaders real quick. Shaders this week here with Ada. We have the War Cult scheme. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Arctic Dreamscape. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, wow. I right, listen, listen. Berguzian back in the day, this was like the shader to have. Uh, because it actually like it like moves a little bit has a shimmer effect especially on like weapons you see you see like the little things that are moving does she sell Berguzian often this is for real guys this was a very rare shader man i had to earn that shader <laughs> well bungie is just giving it out for some glimmer all right every other week she's selling it oh well shoot never mind damn bungie's just giving it away now we've kind of checked out last week because of remnant i'm a couple messages behind unveil containment but i'm curious to actually listen to both of those today i i think i'm behind i'm behind by one and then we got a new one today chioma essie personal lock incidental maya's dead i found her in the conductor's chair alone nobody knows what she was doing her copy that thing lakshmi is still developmentally incomplete. It doesn't understand what happened to Maya. I had it quarantined until we can. Until we. do something. There's no dates on any of these files. There's no telling how much time is set between them. Time enough for loss. How many are left? Three more. And let us hope there are yet more answers to uncover. Geoma AC. Log. Whatever. The war mind has reactivated. Our base on Hyperion detected network activity. They found us. Classified our location Nephili Stronghold. We already estimate that Rasputin has attempted remote interference with our network, our research. It can't. I won't let what we learned here ruin more lives. I'm going to send Stargazer off-world to... to deal with the problem. They can take Lakshmi with them and... do whatever. As long as it's out of the city, out of my sight. It's a risk, taking an action off-world, exposing ourselves. But we have to. What we've done here has to be quarantined. The Veil is too much power. Too much for anyone. Stargazer. That puts the time of this recording around the foundation of the Cloud Striders. Geoma must have been... really old. And Stargazer is the one responsible for redacting Nephilim's stronghold from Rasputin's records. Or Maya by proxy with Lakshmi. Fascinating. There's two more logs left. Once we've decrypted them, I will need to take time to contemplate the larger picture they present. You and me both. What does this mean? It means Glorbo is behind all of the jet. Behind the witness. Behind... Garner and the winner, it all comes back to Glorbo. I don't real notes. I still don't really understand. Can, can, can someone in here explain to me in a single sentence? I understand like there were points where it kind of like reflects the power of the veil, but what what exactly is so powerful about the veil from Maya Kiyoma's perspective? It can make cat girls like the Vex, but Paracosal. Okay, so it's the entire universe log, basically. Yes, and that we did a video on this, that that's what we thought the veil was. How is that inherently bad? That's what I'm trying to understand, guys. Because if you know everything, you could do anything. It's not inherently bad. It's just the wrong thing if the Vex get it. Imagine harnessing the power of literally all knowledge in the universe. Yeah, but at the same time, imagine being the kids that are like, we're going to contain this and no one's going to know. You know what I mean? It's like, imagine if a UFO crashed on Earth 
with biologics from another galaxy and then that gets zoned off and and as the public we never know these things and we never get access to these things imagine there's like a sense of loss and hopelessness in her voice and and that's that's amazing but uh, i i'm just curious what made her decide to make this decision you know what i'm saying slap that like button like your mama told you right yeah.